You know how some procedures look harder than they actually are? Like setting the radio stations on your car's infotainment system. Yeah, those can be tricky. At Hitachi Astemo, we realize that creating a how-to booklet is an asset, but what truly helps is a video that shows you how it's done. So follow along and we'll demonstrate the best and easiest way to perform the electronic throttle body relearn procedure for General Motors vehicles. The reality is that under normal driving conditions, many modern vehicles do not require a relearn procedure to be performed. But if after replacing the ETV, the vehicle is displaying a check engine light, is running rough, has an erratic idle, won't start or stalls while driving, then you should perform the relearn procedure. Before we show you the relearn process, if you haven't already replaced your throttle body, please follow these precautions first. Disconnect the negative lead from the vehicle's battery before removing and installing the new throttle body. Check to make sure the ignition is in the off position before you remove any electrical connectors from the throttle body. Finally, check to see if the throttle body has any coolant lines that need to be plugged prior to removal to prevent coolant loss. So now, let's roll up our sleeves and follow along as we perform the relearn procedure on a 2013 Chevy Suburban 2500 with a 6-liter V8 engine that features a newly installed Hitachi Astemo ETV0025. To see all Hitachi Astemo applications, please visit our website at hitachi.mypartfinder.com. The goal of this procedure is to recalibrate the onboard computer so it syncs with the new electronic throttle body's idle position. The first step is to make sure the transmission is in park, then start the engine and allow it to run for three minutes. Next, turn the engine off for a minimum of one minute. Now, with the transmission still in park, start the engine again and allow it to run for an additional three minutes. The engine should return to a normal idle after three minutes. Now, what do you do if you perform the relearn procedure and the idle does not return to normal? In that case, it may be necessary to perform the drive cycle procedure. To perform the drive cycle procedure, you have to drive the vehicle above 45 miles per hour with several decelerations and extended idles. Then, after the drive cycle is complete, Place the transmission in park and allow the engine to idle for a minimum of five minutes. At this point, the idle should return to normal. If the engine still does not return to normal idle speeds, repeat idle relearn procedure or consider consulting a professional technician. So, after you install a new Hitachi Astemo electronic throttle body, now you know the proper procedures to ensure the engine is idling at the proper speed. Thanks for watching.